The officials in Brooks County are now faced with a huge shortage in the jail there. Today, there are only four jailers working at the facility after a number of jailers recently quit. Michael Gibson has more on a proposal to try and get that facility better staffed. This is the inside of the Brooks County Jail. These days, the place is a virtual ghost town. Right now, there's only four jailers left working here after several others recently quit for better paying jobs. That left the Sheriff's Department and the county to have to come up with a plan B. It all has to do with the pay scale. And, and, and everyone has the same issues. You know, I, I think it finally caught up to us. After those other jailers quit, the Sheriff's Department had to transfer a number of their prisoners to surrounding jails. County Judge Eric Ramos is working to find a solution. The proposal is to raise jailer pay from $14.50 an hour to $16.50 an hour. He explained housing county prisoners in other facilities is simply too expensive to keep doing. Our budget this year for the jail is $503,000, and that includes medical expenses, pay, uh, room and board per se, right? Uh, uh, so that's how much it costs to run the jail. If we didn't have a jail, it would cost us, for the same number of inmates, uh, it would cost us $750,000 to ship out the inmates to somewhere else. Sheriff Martinez is hoping that by raising the pay, he might be able to attract the jailers that he needs to properly staff this facility. We should have 15, and right now we're left with, what, four, so we're looking at about 11, 11 or 12. The proposed pay raise for new jailers is going to be before county commissioners on Monday, and the county judge feels the measure is going to pass. The question, though, is will it be enough money to attract someone to work here in the county lockup? Michael Gibson, 3 News.